Hi guys, uh, welcome to Metal and Rock Show. I hope you can't hear my dog snoring. She's sleeping here on the floor. Uh, I want to talk about Lamp of God, Omens, the brand new album that just came out. Uh, it's the 11th album, if you count the uh, albums that they made called us Burn the Priest. And uh, uh, I want to talk about this, yeah, the album, and if it's one of those that you can just skip or if you need to hear it. Um, we love for you guys to comment if you have anything to say about the band or this album or your opinions. Um, and I have a feeling that some of you are going to disagree with me on this one. Um, so I kind of got into the band in 2003-04 um, and uh, Ashes, what's it called, Ashes of the Wake. And then they came with these amazing albums there, The Sacrament and, and Wrath. Really kind of groovy, anthemic songs, you know, like... Uh, some of the videos even were really cool. I, I remember there was this one where they had the, the tour bus or something like that and, and uh, Redneck, I think it's Redneck rather than Contractor. And yeah, so it's kind of like this cool, groovy, heavy metal stuff. They call it New American Heavy Metal and uh, put Trivium, these guys, Slipknot and one other band that I don't remember. You can put that in the comments, guys. Um, and, uh, and I really like this... Uh, this music it was kind of the stuff that made you want to go mad and and get into the mosh pit and go crazy you know and uh, but on the other hand the problem is that i will probably never see this band because uh, i live here in prague in the czech republic and uh, they don't play here uh, because uh, ranty Blythe, the singer of lamp of god had an incident here in 2010 when he kicked a, a, a fan of the states daniel novak i think was the name of the guy 19 year old guy and he when he fell down, he had got a head injury, I think, and that led to his death. So the next time that Lamp of God came here, they were actually arrested at the airport uh, with, you know, machine guns and like the whole shebang. And he was put on trial, but he was uh, not found guilty. And, and he and the, the, the word that were appealed and, and then, yeah, confirmed. There. So, so he wasn't found guilty. But uh, after that, they probably won't come here. And I wouldn't blame them. I mean, with the... the if you read about how the arrest was, I would understand that they probably don't have a very good association with this country. Uh, but that whole incident, though, meant that the next album, they, yeah, I think, I think it was the next album after that, 2015, Sturm und Drang, that kind of had a, had something. Uh, and I, I think I read an interview somewhere where Ranty said that the, this whole court case and, and what he was going through ha had a massive impact on the album. And I think you can feel it. It's a bit, a bit more kind of dramatic and it felt a little bit new somehow. And uh, so I felt that they kind of, on that album, they developed in, in some way. I mean, I, I like the other stuff, but you can, you can somehow only do it so many times. You get what I mean? Like uh, before it becomes a little bit repetitive. Um, and, uh, and then they came with the self-titled album in 2020, and I felt that, okay, they, they kind of went back to the basics. So when this album now, Omens, came out, I wasn't sure what to expect. I mean, it's only two years since they came with the last album. I mean, obviously, like all other bands, they had plenty of time during COVID because they weren't touring. So I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, and I heard the singles, Omens, uh, Grayscale, and uh, the third, Nevermore, and I wasn't... I, I, when I heard those, I didn't feel that this was adding anything new. I mean, Omens could easily have been on some of the older albums and, and fitted well into that, but it wasn't bringing me anything that I felt I haven't heard before. And so when the album came out now, my fears were kind of confirmed uh, and they kind of stuck to the formula, I feel. I I didn't really, I mean, I, I, I gave it a lot of listens. I took it out running, I took it in the car, I, you know, I, I did... <laughs> I did it everywhere, um, and uh, uh, because I like this band, and uh, yeah, but it didn't somehow get better with uh, multiple listens. I felt um, it's ten songs, just forty-one minutes, which I think in this case is actually good that it's not longer because I I I think then it just wouldn't help the album getting any better somehow. So it's not bad. I mean, there's just nothing new. Um, there's not, a, I mean, with this band, and I felt that always with them, there's not like a minute lost, you know, like every riff is kind of cool. There's no bad playing, you know, like the drumming is cool. And 
all that, the sound is great. It grooves, but it just, it's just that. Like it, the kind of the, I don't know if the word is right. The novelty of it has kind of worn off, you know, like, um, and, uh, and I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't feel that it, it, it um, brings anything new to the table. Um, there are three songs that I really like, and they, they are actually, at least two of them are kind of, um, different from the rest of the album. There is this song called uh, Denial Mechanism where I feel that they kind of they sacrifice the groove a little bit and they go into like a full speed metal style and uh, then there is another one called September Song where they have it's more kind of dramatic and, and some synths. It grooves but it's sad somehow and I've, I've felt that also from some of the stuff on, on Sturm und Drang that there was this kind of sadness or hope hopelessness in in that music somehow um and then the third song is the vanishing which has like a super cool breakdown and goes into kind of speed metal after like two and a half minute or something and then a minute later breaks out to into a, like a super epic outro so those three songs uh, denial mechanism september song and vanishing are, are kind of what is left with me after multiple listens um so yeah, I was hoping for more freshness. I mean, they had, they got this new drummer and uh, Art Cruz that replaced uh, Chris Adler uh, before the last album, actually. And and sometimes you see that, like, if you take a look at, for example, uh, the Slipknot album, the new one, you, we have a review up here of that one. Uh, they have, you know, they kind of, yeah, they got a new drummer, uh, they got a new bass player and actually what they said after that, that album is that Jim Root, the guitar player, contributed less to that album and I feel that you can hear it. So th there are songs on the new Slipknot album, um, The End So Far, that are th they're adding something without abandoning what they're all about. Um, same with the, same with the Megadeth, you know, Megadeth has this Kiko on guitar now and, and, and this Dirk Verburen on, on drums. It's actually funnily, Chris Adler from Lump of God was in Megadeth and then recommended Dirk Verburen to be the drummer of Megadeth. And I feel that with those guys, and I've seen it in some interviews, that they're adding something, they're, they're bringing something into Megadeth. And I feel with, with Lump of God, maybe, I don't know, maybe they should have got a new producer or something. It's the same guy, this Josh Wilbur, that has now produced five, five consecutive albums with that band. So. Yeah, um, they could have, you know, like on Sturm und Drang, they brought in this Chino Moreno for a song called uh, em em Emperor or Empress, and that was super, super cool and gave a little extra spice somehow, which I feel is missing. Um, so the positives of the album, it grooves. It sounds good. Uh, it's probably good to see live, um, which I would probably never do uh, unless I catch them exactly when I'm traveling. Um, the negatives, it's more of the same. It won't really stick. I'm not going to... I'm not, I'm not gonna put this album into my rotation. Um, I forced people to listen to it also, and they said the same. People that like metal but weren't gonna listen to this, they said this is not gonna really gonna stick with me. It's good, it does what it says on the tin, it's Lamp of God, but we've heard, heard this before, you know? So I'm gonna give this 6.5. Uh, if this was the first album of this band, it probably would be higher, but I expected more from them. I expected them somehow to bring something new to the table. Uh, I would rather go and listen to some of their older stuff now than I would go and listen to this album again. And I think that's kind of says a lot about it. Now, I do understand that it's hard for bands to kind of re reinvent themselves. And, and, and it made me wonder when I was listening to why does a band make an album like this but be, because it's not risky they, they they know that there's a hardcore following that will like this um, and they can do it it's what they know they know how to write songs like this they know how to you know obviously with this guy Josh Wilbur produce an album like this for the fifth time so yeah it's a it's a low risk you know it it, it doesn't take um, uh, more effort than something before and it doesn't expose you, let's say, to, to being abandoned by the people that love you or, or, or something like that. And, you know, it, we all want that. We want to be popular. We want to or appreciated or loved or adored or something like that. So they don't take any risk. This is a low risk album. Um, I would skip it. You know, I, I, I don't 
I don't feel that you need to listen to this album. Uh, you don't need to listen to this uh, review either, but uh, yeah, well, you need to kind of, you know. The fans will love it. The, it won't add any new, new listeners, that's for sure. Um, or the hardcore fans will love it. I'm a fan, but I don't love this album. Um, I don't think there is anything more to add about this. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know. Feel free to like, comment, follow, subscribe, share, tell your friends, or bash me about this. I love that stuff. Comments always bring me a little bit further. See you guys.